Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hypermind Modded. Today, you can see behind me, we're in the spawner room. It's time to build our spawner room. That's right, we're going to take care of this today. Are you ready? Let's get started. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you heard that correct. We are going to start on the spawner room that I've been wanting to do this whole time. So we're finally getting to our, what in the world did you just kill the dragon? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize it would transmit the sound. He's been working on Draconic Evolution. Oh my, that's scary. Yes, we're going to be working on the... Um, oh man, <laughs> that threw me off. Uh, on, on the spawner room, and we're actually using Draconic Evolution today as well. So... Uh, yeah, I've built this. We we took a look at this a few episodes ago, and I've got all my supplies down here. Oh my goodness. We're going to have to turn down the sound here. My, my. I don't think he can see the chat. <laughs> he's killing plenty of dragons he managed to get an R of tools dimension and if you're watching this now you're probably wondering so that came out a long time ago you're right I am doing some batch pre-recording so here we go anyway I am I am now all of a flutter so let's hope hope we can bring this back into place so our spawners are gonna go in the middle there we're gonna have 16 of them I've got the mobs that we're gonna be using right here here's some other mob souls that we're not going to do because we've already got the cave spider. So we don't need to do this spider here. We've got a couple of different um, squid farms. And then we've got this bird, tiny bird from Twilight Forest. Yes, I went to Twilight Forest. No, I did not bring you along. I haven't done the whole thing. I don't really care. I just wanted to go in and get um, this uh, wild deer so that we could start eating venison. Because I like venison. We got plenty of it here in my freezer, and I enjoy eating it and making venison jerky. So I figured, you know what? While we've got it here in modded, I'm going to partake. So, so yeah, I went to Twilight Forest just so I could get one of these things, and uh, there we go. So we've got our 16. That's 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got too many. We're gonna have to cull a couple more. So maybe we'll get rid of the taint spider and the chicken. So we'll keep the rest. Yeah, because I don't know what the taint spider is actually going to do. Yeah, anyway. So the way that we do this is we need to grab... Uh, we're going to get uh, one of these. Let's see. We'll grab a wisp spawner. And that puts on mining fatigue and slowness until I get rid of it. And we need a draconic core. And we also need uh, one of these nether stars in order to make it so that we don't have to be near the spawner for it to be running. But we do want to be able to control it. That's the other neat thing about Draconic Evolution spawners, is that we can control it with redstone. And so we're going to be using the insulated redstone conduit from Ender.io. 16 spawners, mean, and, and we can do 16 colors in the insulated redstone. So we're just going to grab all of that is probably more than we technically need but um, but then we need to grab uh, one of these items here perhaps the so let's see we'll put put the chicken up there we don't care about that one and the taint spider what's one of the least dangerous ones uh, at the top so uh, maybe we'll do I haven't really figured this part out. We do need some witches to start going. So, uh, but then we can just use a witch spawner. We may not have to, to do the mob soul for the witches. And so what we'll do, oh, there's one more thing, one more thing of note. 
I saw this on Brink the Gamer's channel. He is playing FTB Infinity Evolved Expert Mode and on the FTOG server with a few other people. Um, but I saw him do this. Put, put Glowstone in here? Yeah, so that's... We need to get rid of this spawner. So what this is doing is it's making... It should be making these things go faster, which will move the mobs off this platform and down onto the kill area much quicker. And I forgot to note which one I started on. We should be able to see. And that should be it. Yeah, they're all going really fast. All right, so what we're gonna do is take out that block and then we'll come in with the spawner here. We'll put that down, okay? And then we'll drop the Draconic core on there. So that means we can control it. And they're all not very excited for me. So we'll put this here. I should have gotten my, uh, my levers as well so we can at least put the yeah there we go so we can put a lever on there to make it uh, not spawn because otherwise it'll get rather dangerous so we'll put this can we put there we go so we can turn that off there we go so it responds to a redstone signal and then what i'm going to be doing is putting this conduit uh, like so, it should, should be connected. Spawner tier, hold shift, ignore spawn requirements, requires player, and that should be working. It's not connected though, so maybe we have to, hmm, hmm, <laughs> hmm. I'm going to have to go check that out, but for now we can control them with the lever. So what I'm going to do is take care of the rest of it. You've seen me uh, do that one. I'm going to repeat that 15 more times. So uh, when we come back, I should have all the spawners in place and we'll go from there. All right. It looks like Hector has left, but he killed a bunch of those. It sounds like. I don't know because I kept, I kept messing with the Draconic Evolution spawners and that apparently clogs up the chat. Uh, not for Hector, but for me. So anyway, I got all of these spawners in. And so let me just show you. I did change out. Uh, I put the witch up here. I left all the blaze type ones. Oh, be careful right there. All the blaze type ones right here on the bottom. So blizz, blitz, blaze, and basalts. Then our cave spider, witch, enderman, Wither Skeleton, Creeper, Zombie Skeleton, Zombie Pigmen, Cow, Deer, Sheep, and Pig. And I figured out right here what the issue was. We're, we have to just hit it with the, um, what's the, what's the word? Let's get rid of that. Oh, man. Uh, with the hammer. So do this like so. We have to hit it right on that face. There we go, and I'll go back through and get the correct channels set up so that we can, we can start by controlling these from a safer location than here on the bottom. All right, so there we go, and we'll just go through one by one and change this up. Yep, green. All right, so you see what I'm going to be doing next, and then, uh, yeah, so I'm going to carry that all the way up, and then we'll get a little control panel going up top, and uh, we'll see where to go from there, all right? Well, here we go. This is a rather crude user interface, but it's going to work for now. So uh, the other thing that I found another problem, we have potentially issues here so i don't know what i'll probably have to put a couple of blocks below the bottom spawner just to keep things from dropping onto the sewer 
but that shouldn't be too bad. Let's just give this a go. Let's see which one we want to do. How about, that should be the basalts, I believe. Yep. And then we'll also do Enderman, which is a couple up from that, and Wither Skeletons. So let's see how that goes. Is that Wither? No, it's Witches and Enderman. Where's the Wither Skeleton? There he is, one above the Enderman. So we'll have to figure out a better user interface for that. Let's throw that off and this one on. All right, so we'll get plenty of Endermen, plenty of Wither Skeletons, but it looks like we are at least functional. And I am going to take care of the problems that we're seeing right here off camera. So by the time we are together again, I should have that taken care of. And then we'll probably have a better user interface um, once we get to that point as well. So there we go. We can turn off the basalts. It's not really, it's just more for completion's sake than we actually need anything. Yeah, so I don't know. We'll figure, we'll figure that out. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for sharing a bit of your time with me today. We finally got our spawner room done. So now... Well, let me show you the next thing that we got to do for the spawners. We're done with that. We need to bring in a ghast spawner. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Those guys are loud. Wow. Uh, yeah, so we're going to use a powered spawner for ghast. We're going to have a special room for them, probably above this one. So we'll make the castle keep go a little bit taller. We'll put the ghast spawner up there and then cover this over with a roof. But hey, we're making progress. And this is... Very, very, very good. I'm excited about this. Let me turn these guys off. We don't need them much anymore. But, uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.